This is CalCat, the CalCatster, and I went to a special screening at an event of Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I think the eighth one. I think it's the eighth one. Because you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3, the classic one. And then you got the animated one in 2007. And then you got... I think we did one other... And you got the Michael Bay re-invented re ones. These are seven or eight, yeah. Um, and if you count the, the crossover one. And the and the, and the show. And Ninja Turtles. Um, sure. Uh, Donatello. Uh, the bow with the bow, you yeah. uh, know. Mmm. Of course, that Ernie Ray Jr.'s apocryphal story from the, from the timeline. There was a connection to that, but uh, I think we've been over that many times. Uh, yeah, Cal Cat was an extra on on, on a, a co venture between um, Ernie Ray's Junior School, Ernie Ray's School, and uh, Jung Swan, and uh, it was uh, called uh, Three Ninjas, and we were background characters on the, on that. <laughs> Not in the IMDb, it should be. My real name should be the IMDb, it should say. It just background character. <laughs> extra. Background extra. Anyway, so on to, uh, yeah, and uh, years later he was at the, at a, one of the toy shows, and uh, yeah, there was a guy that was into surf ninjas behind me. He was going to get an autograph thing, and I got an autographed uh, Donatello Ninja Turtle thing, because uh, Ninja Turtle as well. Uh, but I was not a Ninja Turtle. Um, <laughs> And and he recognized he remembered me because we were sparring. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, so uh, that's cool. So yeah, um, years ago. Um, yeah, and now on to the show, basically uh, the movie that you made without giving anything away because it was a Fathom event and it's coming out in August. So so yeah, I don't want to give too much away. There were other families there than other people there. Uh, pretty packed house uh, actually um the um yeah I was alone but <laughs> but this father guy wanted to sit he had the wrong seats but I didn't care so I moved over sat next to the gamer guy um the gamer guy from the internet I'm sure he's gonna chime in and say what was that guy doing laughing at stuff um <laughs> but yeah the Asian gamer guy um he was there there was also somebody from the the the, the track thing there as well. It wasn't Sheila V, it was the other guy. But yeah. The old, the younger guy. It was, it was, yeah. You know, so, so that's cool. He was there. Um, so there were there were other people there. And I'm sure they will do reviews later and you get to see what they what they reviewed from the movie on their web channels. I didn't get their names down, so I don't know what their web channels are and shout out to them, I guess the prom and the other guy, but but uh but yeah uh so, 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 yeah, we got to sit in on the, on the, on the turtle movie. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> at two o'clock in the afternoon on a, on a, on a Saturday. Uh, packed them all, packed out. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so this movie is, is animated. In the, in the, uh, pseudo claymation style animated. So it's like Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. It's kind of animated like that. Spider-Man and Spider-Verse meets the 2007 one, basically. Um, uh, Seth Rogen was a producer. Uh, his voice seems to be all over the uh, peripheral characters. Bebop and Rocksteady seem to be him, but I think it is actually one other person playing one of them, and it's just not, not him, but... Yeah. Um, the, because of the Nickelodeon show, where they look a little... the, the, the more recent Nickelodeon show, They've been making Ninja Turtles since 1987, so, <laughs> as cartoons. So there's over 20 seasons, 25, 26 seasons, technically 30 if you count some of the other shows, but they kept reinventing them. Um, to, yeah, 35 years. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of them, um, but yeah, the um, most recent of which was the Nickelodeon one, where there were two of them. There was like, there was the one where they were really, really stylized. And then there was the one where they were, the one where they were uh, not as much. It was more of an animated, straight up thing. 
April O'Neil was de designed differently to be younger like them. Uh, fan, there was fan backlash about that. And this one, she's their age, or maybe a year older. Uh, they apply the prom as a central thing in there. I guess it would be the junior prom, because they're 15, they're not 17 or 18. Um, I didn't think they had a junior prom for 15 year olds. That was. That's. Yeah, it would be freshman prom. They don't have a freshman prom. Anyway, <laughs> they don't do that. The whole point is prom is that you're. Yeah. Call it the Sadie Hawkins dance, I guess. That, that would make sense. Um, but yeah. Uh, allegedly New York, but it was Quebec. Uh, Jackie Chan will splinter. <laughs> What's this funny? Um. All the new Ninja Turtle characters are played by teenagers. The, I think, with the exception of one of them. One of them is actually a little older than a teenager. But but in the original, they were barely out of high school doing that one, too. Ernie Ray Jr. was was uh, Donatello, and he was, then he was Kino. He was in his 20s. Uh, but yeah, um, I was also in my 20s when that came out. So. <laughs> barely. Uh, so yeah. Target demographic was uh, the Ninja Turtles. Um, the original G1. Um, yeah, so uh, part three was not good. Um, but this isn't about that. Uh, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the, um, it's fine as a, as a kid's movie thing. It's fine as a Ninja Turtle movie. It puts a smile on your face, which is a Ninja Turtle thing. Uh, the only drawback is that the claymation is a little hard to watch. But other than that, it's, well, it, yeah. Uh, it had a better story than the 2007 one, uh, which is interesting. Uh, it had uh, your basic premise without giving away too much. It's the Milpitas Monster, um, <laughs> a classic 70s uh, horror schlock movie that was made here where uh, by high school students where, where a giant fly is threatening the town. That's, and they have to defeat it. The high schoolers have to defeat it. Same plot, Milpitas Monster. Uh, which I'm okay with. <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, I was in it. So very briefly, off to the side. Um, but, but yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, the siblings and my father were in it. <laughs> but yes, um, uh, but, but not in Ninja Turtles. I don't know, my nephews were really into the Ninja Turtles. We went to all of them, um, back in the day. <laughs> But yeah, uh, but the, uh, yeah, they were, the, the, the characterizations were fine, they had, they had them right, they had, you know, Leonardo's the leader, and Donatello's, it's, you know, the smart one, and, and, and Michelangelo is party one, and the, the, uh, the mean one is Raphael, the temper, temperamental one's Raphael. Uh, I don't think in high school we were necessarily Ninja Turtles. We were a little old to be in, but we watched it and we were into it a little bit. A little bit more so later on. I think it, the nostalgia factor kind of, yeah, yeah later on, a little later on. Um, yeah, uh, but I was, uh, yeah, but, you know, if they were doing the, the casting, uh, I would also be Donatello because I knew the bow staff. But also be Donatello. And the size, that would have been Jim Tigon. He would have been the size. He would have been Raph, obviously. I guess the brainy one that would have been Mark's cars or John. He would have been the brainy one. <laughs> so he would have been the... the and, and and Big Tim, what did Tim Cantrell would have been the... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it was Ninja Turtles. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so that would have worked. Um, <laughs> but, no, we never went to as Ninja Turtles for Halloween. We didn't do that. Anyway, um, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, uh, the, uh, so we have, we have, uh, and I'm wearing the wrong shirt. I'm wearing, this is not the right color for that character. I should have been wearing the blue one. That's all right. Look <laughs> at the Leonardo shirt. Wait a minute. Oh, hmm. oh well. <laughs> Donatello is one of the bow. Leonardo has the, the, the other thing. Thomas. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, yeah, it was fine. It was uh, it's a kids' movie. 
parts. Uh, the the fly is hilariously play. I don't know. Is that Ice Cube playing the fly? I think it's Ice Cube. And he's like chewing scenery literally as a fly, which is funny. Um, and uh, and just it's, it's, I'm gonna get the humans and kid him by building a machine and whatever. And like yeah. Uh, well, building the machine and then becoming the kaiju, that's more like the Suicide Squad movie. But then again, he's a giant fly. So. Uh, the origin story is a little changed in the movie. It's different. They're all together in the same universe. And so Bebop and Rocksteady aren't created later. They're created during. So they're in it. Um, they, uh... <laughs> so, yeah. Um... And we have a, a nod to Dimension X and then we have an evil lady uh, from the later comics who shows up that looks like one of the uh, teenage cruisers from Dimension X. And she's the uh, one of the villains in the background, which is, which is neat. Um, <laughs> she's the villain. Uh, assuming she is now... Uh, if, she's, if she is the G1 one, she would be uh, in her 60s. And... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Or in her late 50s, possibly. Late 50s, let's say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um. So. Sure, the, the, the New York is threatened by a giant fly. Giant fly. And uh, his henchmen or various other mutants. Uh, there's, there's a lizard deuce, which was from the thing. Be about Rock City. There's a cockroach one, which is from the thing. Oh, and then there's a disgusting scene in the, in the in the movie. There's some disgusting scenes involving the cockroach lady, including Splinter wanting to to make out with the cockroach lady, and and, and she was and she's clearly a, some kind of mix of something. So she's asexual cockroach. Um, <laughs> Splinter's acting gay. As if someone, but no, no, he's not. That's a girl. It's just a really, 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 really ugly girl. Oh, but yeah, yeah, it's coprophages. The, the coprophage, the cockroach, literally means the poop, like a uh, poop uh, eater. So, ah, uh, great. Um, that, that's kind of gross. That, that gross out the, the kids. <laughs> but, but yes, um, it's only one scene. Uh, it's probably rated G, but it does have some PG elements. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know if Seth Rogen necessarily was even trying to do like the Michael Bay inspired ones. I think he was trying to do more like the the Cloden cartoon, and in doing so, made it more like the, like it's an animated version of the previous cartoon generation. But they tweaked it, so it's not really. It's sort of an origin thing. So it's a multiverse clearly, as established in, in Turtles Forever. Where it's a multiverse and there's all these other turtles and the turret drone goes through the universe and finds the other turtles. Long before Marvel did their multiverse. But not before not before DC did their Flashpoint. Which, which, yeah, which they changed that in the Flash, but didn't do right. The TV version is better of the Flashpoint than the movie Flash. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, the live action first Ninja Turtles movie is the best one, still. Second one, second best, and then, then the uh, 84, and then this one, and then the seven, 2007, and then this one, and then and then you go back to the third one, the Michael Bay ones. The Michael Bay, the, the one with the terror technodrome was kind, kind of did work, but uh, kind of didn't in part. Casey Jones was wrong. Uh, they they, they didn't include a Casey Jones in this one, so unless you count the cop guy, but I don't think that's supposed to be Casey Jones. Also, Megan Fox is, is uh, in the other one is not um, April O'Neil. Wrong casting. Um, yeah, but so if they do another live action one, uh, they, yeah. But this is a cartoon meant to be in the cartoon universe, so it's. It's meant to be in one of the, that part of that timeline, not the uh, not the live action movies. Uh, I think it'd be cool if they went back to the live action ones, but instead of 
over buffing the turtles and making them gigantic hulking mutant creatures. They, they, they shouldn't be gigantic muscly things. That's, that doesn't make sense. If they're agile ninjas, they should be, yeah, agile, but not all buffed like wrestlers. Yeah, go back to that. Uh, get it, get it. April Neal is fine. I, I don't mind what they did. That's fine. It's the cartoon. It's perfectly acceptable to do that version. So yeah, maybe maybe what it is is uh, teenage April O'Neil is April O'Neil Jr. The other April O'Neil. There you go. Uh, <laughs> which is why she's able to go into the TV studio at one point. They let her in. Um, uh, yeah. Um, she's also known as Puke Girl in the story. That's an interesting irony in the, in the story. The, the character is Puke Girl. She, she puked during the reporting thing. Um... And they showed it in the movie, so you wonder if, like, when they put this on YouTube, will YouTube flag the movie for having a fake barf scene? Even though, will they do that? They probably will. Well, no, we have to censor the the barf. But yeah, uh, that's fine. I don't want to give away too much, so I know I'll stop here. Uh, yeah. Probably not going to review it later on the 5th, but yeah, go and see it. Um, it's cartoon, like, it's fine. It's uh, perfectly acceptable as a cartoon, and uh, it works. So, yeah, well, the early the early screeners. I got an early screener. Because <laughs> even though I don't have a lot of... Like and subscribe to my channel, by the way. But I, but I don't have a lot of uh, subscribers, but I do have a lot of subscriptions, and I have a whole lot of videos, as you can tell. Over a thousand, hundred, a thousand and one hundred videos or something like that. Um, yeah, so Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Um, yeah, they even have them running around in a car, the van, and everything. And, and they're, they're, at one point, they get a pizza van, and it looks kind of like the turtle van. And they're next to me, and they're all, Turtle van! Yes! <sighs> cool. They didn't skateboard much in it, though. And on the cover, they showed them skateboarding. They didn't really do that. I guess they couldn't animate that. Although, it's weird that they couldn't animate that. Because they figured that out a long time ago. Basically, it's the Iceman thing from the 70s that they totally could have done. Yeah, they could they, they have... Yeah, even in, the, even in the 80s, they had skateboarding figured out. You just put the guy on the skateboard, and you have him, like... You don't make the wheels move. You just draw a little black hash tags. Do a close up of the skateboard. You just do little little lines on the wheels. You don't actually rotate them. Yeah, and make make it look like it's going fast. Little lines. No wheel. Yeah, they could have done it. They could have. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, but, but, yeah. The animation is like the Spider Verse, like claymation Spider Verse. Yeah. Kind of animation. It's different. Um, I would think the 3D version of it, though, would be would be hard to watch. So I didn't see the 3D version. There's a 3D version. And I didn't notice anybody from the San Jose State or the other cast or the other people in the credits uh, at all this time around. <laughs> so, yeah, some of those people from back in the day probably got up to, uh, you know, like, some of the Pixar people from years ago, well, they've, they're they probably either gone or up to manager or something. So if it was a Pixar movie, you'd be like, oh, that guy, that guy. That guy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, not in this case. <laughs> I think one of them was still on Turning Red. So. And Ray of the Last Dragon. Yeah, Ray of the Dead. Turning Red, yeah. And Luca in Soul. One of them was in Soul. Yeah. So yeah, uh, but, uh, uh, I didn't see Elemental, and uh, probably is one, of, but I have no reason. I don't really want to. I just don't care about Elemental, so I'm not gonna see it. <laughs> it yeah, but I saw the Ninja Turtle movie, so it's not like I don't care about fantasy. Just clearly like fantasy. Yeah, so go see uh, this movie. Um, I'm gonna give it. Uh, well, three stars. Uh, 
three and a half almost. Yeah, three and a half. Why not? Um, sure. It, is it as good as a Pixar movie? Well, as of late, it's a little better than certain Pixar movies, like Lightyear. It's better than Lightyear. It's better than... I'd say it's on a par with... Uh, um, if I'm going to compare it to a Pixar movie. If I compared it to a Pixar movie. Like Onward or something. Or... or uh, or, or Inside Out, or something like that. Yeah, so. High praise for him if it was a Pixar. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it.